Welcome to the first ever edition of March After Midnight presented by High Noon Hard Seltzer. High Noon Hard Seltzer, just 100 calories, gluten-free, no added sugar. It's real vodka, real juice for real fans just like us. I was delivering Rico some High Noons because of our uh, punishment. First thing you walked into this brand new Barstool bar and you saw a bucket of black cherries. Yeah, big bucket. It was nice. All black cherries. We had to mix in some passion fruits for Dave. Um... High noon was pretty wild day. High noon's the best. Day. Um, it's the best. Yeah. logo. It's the best sponsor there is. Everyone, make sure you go get your high noons Buckets during this tournament this. this year. But I feel like, first of all, I had a fantastic day. Congratulations, Marty. Your team, basically all your teams lost besides Arkansas. Your team lost. My team lost. My yes. teams aren't your teams. No, you. you what? Listen, what he did. You thought you had a chat with the Iowa guys, right? I mean, no. You didn't? No. Okay, well, we, have, we, we had an Iowa man chat. Man. We had an Iowa chat. I'm, I'm, man, he, I'm not cool enough. He I'm took... We had a set up. Shut day. up, shut up. He took me out of the chat, made a new chat to say good because luck, they boys. You for and they, they lost. You win Wisconsin Red. And you lost you them in black the games because you and suck. Yellow. But and Iowa yellow. losing is crazy, and obviously Kentucky losing is bananas. And I also, have, what I tell you about Kentucky, everyone's like, oh, oh, they lost. They it's a good loss. They get, and they get healthy and they fucking sucked. They lost to a team from Jersey yeah. City. That is the story so, of day one. Back to the Mac and Kiki Clark used to be an all-time leading scorer. Rice High School, yeah, 2002. Kiki Clark. But in all seriousness, like, we said it forever. Cal, Cal Perry couldn't make adjustments. No. He was, like, freaking out. He's talking, like, their huddle looks like fucking romper room. Yeah, no, it was horrible. But th them of losing. all the upsets, though. I didn't have Kentucky anywhere on the radar. And no even one. while Hank was like 10-1, to 1, four, I took it at 4-1. to 1. I'm like, this ain't it. It's one of those games that you keep thinking, like, ah, they're going to Yeah, they, didn't, they just gonna didn't have a they're shot. They're not going to win. Then they was, of win. all the upsets, that was the craziest one. So, obviously, that's the overwhelming takeaway from day one is St. Peter's over number two Kentucky. In terms of ter tournament history, in terms of upsets, where do you guys put this with the, sorry, Marty, Duke, Lehigh, obviously, Virginia, UMBC, still number one. But... Duke's lost a few times. This is the first time Kentucky's lost in this position, right? Kind of on par with, like, right, it's definitely, no one's ever going to beat UMDC. Uh, it, it seems like there's it's always. right on par to me with Lehigh Duke. It seems like there's always a 215 now. Like last year Nine with uh, Ohio State, right. we lost. But, yeah, I mean, Kentucky, everyone literally had them f to Final Four championships. So when it's them. a blue blood, it's And different. that bald fuck Riggs, you fucking loser. <laughs> you fucking twat. Come he's in, he's, like, he's like, oh, I'm going to Chicago. I'm going to have fun. You're a twat loser <laughs> hanging out with your kid at home with watching Kentucky crying. Yeah, Riggs is joining us for the Chicago portion of this trip, and he probably thought, okay, Saturday I can see Kentucky Murray State will be a great game. Fucking smack his bald ass so head the entire time. The dead, too. The Kentucky yeah, shirts Kentucky's are back. Out. Collector's item. 17 people probably bought it, but I love it. It. Yeah, so that's the biggest storyline uh, from day one, which is that huge upset. The other one, obviously major friends of the program, Rico hinted at it, Iowa laid an egg against Richmond. I mean, it never felt like Iowa was in control of the game. Well, we, we got to be honest. J-Bo struggled. He had, a, he, had a, he had a tough game. Keegan Murray should have shot more, it seemed like, and it just... It's one of those games when you during March where it's like it's just so slow and they're not coming, they're not creeping, they're not creeping, and it's like okay, well, then what the fuck's going on? It's almost on? like time of possession with football. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. Iowa wants to run and score, so we'll just keep it out of their hands and not get to the 80s. Once we're, you know, we say it all the time, like once it was in the 60s, Richmond was going to go. And listen, credit to Richmond, I, coach is a scumbag, piece of shit, but they ran a lot of their stuff. The yeah. back doors, like they got wide open stuff. They didn't take bad shots. They played great defense. They limited, you know, one of the players of the year candidates to really... I mean, he went off, but Listen, they didn't let everybody else hurt him. I love Iowa, believe me. I love them not talking shit about them, but I think they were reading the press clippings a little bit where it's like, all right, That's Final Four. a little bit of our fault. We'll put our hands up. We no, I mean, but off. even I saw... Yeah, I, I saw even... I final saw final CBS. Oh, wow. I, I saw Greenberg fucking rat fuck had yeah. uh, Final Four. Everyone, they got hot, and that's what happens where it's like recency, recency bias. Like, so oh, two, so there were three teams that ran that course, right, or, or fit in that gap. Uh, Iowa, Tennessee, and Villanova. Yeah. I saw Tennessee be... I mean, yeah. Longwood was just horrific. Also, like... Look, Iowa kind of got fucked with the seed. That's you can't really you can't hold that back. But they they did get fucked with the seed. Yeah. Now, do we worry a li 
I don't think they're losing to Delaware, but do we worry a little bit about Villanova running too hot? Or no, they're just programmed. I think the two seeds will be fine. I think I the fact that Jay Wright's been there before, the lot, a lot of those players have been there before. Yeah. So, but uh, one upset a lot of people had that didn't happen, Providence over South Dakota State. That was a trendy upset, and Coach Cooley got the job done. They were never really in jeopardy of losing. It's this always game. the uh, ones. Harry a little bit late, but yeah, you're right. It's Providence always, kind of control. It's them. always the ones where everyone's like, oh, they're going to lose. And Providence has every game they play, is they're going to lose. But let me tell you. The Big East fucking stinks. Besides kind of Providence. Yeah. My I mean, God. Got a hundo on them. The, this team, I fucking hate them. I have to wear it for three more years, but they, they look good. They smoked more. Who, who's their Baylor. one? Baylor. Yeah, I think that could be enough. I, I said at the beginning of the tournament, whoever would win North Carolina Marquette, I like them to be Baylor. I picked Marquette, but I still stand by it. I think well, UNC is getting hot at the right time. So Yeah, absolutely. Um, Indiana. I didn't even know what game happened. See, listen, oh, that game was on this game game. <laughs> You're going to think I'm turning it. That travel shit matters. That's why elephants tomorrow. Oh, my God. 115 wow. local. It's a white whale against. It is, but he... 115 local to California after a double overtime win in a team that probably shouldn't have made the tournament. Emotional win. He just already been out there. Alabama before I even talked about Duke. <laughs> That's a win, right? He didn't play it. I wasn't even going to talk about Duke today. You talked about the travel. It's a good segue. No, it's no segue. No one cares about tomorrow yet. What about New Mexico today? State and that kid scoring fucking 90? Yes. Yeah. New Mexico State over UConn. Another upset in the West region. Teddy Allen, 37 points. I said earlier this week, okay, UConn had a lot of hype last year. Laid an egg in the tournament God, against UConn Maryland. Lost. <laughs> UConn Dude, loses back-to-back so back years. Got got I didn't, UConn kind of wasn't really in ever that game. At, like, they were in it late, but they had a fight in the It was one of those fight and call. UConn just was game. limping the last part of the season no matter what. They really were. I picked them just because it was like whatever. It was just like they were limping in the Big East. Tomorrow. Do you worry about Hurley postseason? I know it's still early, but back-to-back first-round exits? Nah. He's the guy UConn wants, obviously. Uh... Yeah, I mean, listen, it's two he's first round exits success. now. He's got to go get a couple of, like, top tier recruits. I think that, like, get a uh, top five recruit or figure it out, which I don't know if they will, but they'll have a little worried. They'll be fine. They'll it's just be a fine. little worried. He's a good coach, but it's a tournament, you're right, gets a little worried. And here's another team that, maybe not via the scoreboard, but via the eye test, Memphis. They had that scoring drought in the yeah. second half, but again, convincing hey, win. I think Amoni, Amoni Bates. Coming back and having like a That's role, a great a game role player, a lot of pros on that floor, a role player type role. I love Memphis has a legit chance to beat Gonzaga. Memphis, I really uh, do believe. Amani Bates is very similar to what's going on with Remy Martin. Yeah, maybe they they figured, hey, you know, like you were bad, somebody got in his ear, like kind of got a chance to win a national title. I mean, let's face it, they're gonna be. What do we think the line is against? What's that predicted score against Gonzaga? Is that, is that line up yet? That line's out. It's definitely out, but... It has it as a 12-point game. Gonzaga. It has Gonzaga at 12? It's that's still going to be double figures. That's the... It's out? That's well, no, that's the Ken Long. No, I've got to check the Barcelona little, but the predicted the score is 12. Listen, I think Duran and uh, Bates, that is a game where they can rise up the draft boards. And I don't... You know, that's what they're playing for. So that's going to be interesting. Um, North Holmgren, Carolina, Holmgren is unbelievable. North today. Carolina is five and a half. Against Baylor? Yep, and Providence is minus two and a half against Richmond. All right, here's the one. I think Providence is going to keep winning and shove it to those lucky people. Yep. Here's the one that's most interesting to me. We saw Murray State here in a war yes. late night, right? They'll play late night again probably Saturday. Are we giving St. Peter's a legitimate chance the way they muck shit up? Yeah, I mean, it's oh, mid-major major versus mid-major. Bad major. possessions with Already know what this means. Mid-major is guaranteed to make the Sweet 16. Hey, that's fine. The March Madness, I'm all about them. I'll watch it in March Madness. It's fucking awesome. Do you give a little bit more credit to the WCC? St. Mary smoked them. San Francisco went to wire to wire. Oh, we're giving credit for wire to wire now, Jake? It was an impressive Wire game. to wire to a mid-major team? I shouldn't even brought that up because you already lost the bet. Well, a mid-major team, we're going to give them wire to wire. Good for them? Yeah, good for them. Speaking of losing bets, Marty will be... We haven't seen much of the ACC today, right? Just there Carolina. was none besides the ACC. Carolina and uh, Notre Dame in the first four. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Rico and I are lucky ACC enough... Made four? Five. 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 
Duke, Carolina, Miami, Miami, oh Miami, and um, West Virginia, uh, Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech. Yeah, so Rico and I will be going on the PJ Saturday morning. Oh, you know was, what? I'm Dane Porsche already swing. Did you cancel your flight? What a hell of a swing! Already canceled his flight. You familiar with that? I pulled that shit out of my the ass. Points. Oh shit! I gotta Rico get a flight. Rico pulled off no something late, no. and Marty now has an Take 8 a.m. Bus. flight Saturday morning. To be honest, morning. though, to be honest, I need a break from him, That's and fair. I need a break from everybody we here. I don't know, but you, 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 well, I did fight this. Because he's a dickhead about when he won. He's going like <laughs> this. I'm like, when I won, I didn't say a word to you no. or you. And I was just going to win. But you're going like this, like an ass wipe. So go fuck yourself. And you know what? I could sleep on the fucking plane and not listen to you, you at the entire time. All right. Because you're, you're going to be eating the snacks like a little oh, squirrel I mean, well, I mean, and shit. I'm eating a lot of snacks. You're a fucking Rico twat on things. Like watch a New York program. Jets receiver in the end zone. Yeah, it was He's great. the worst guy on the plane, too. Light. He's the worst guy on the plane, too. You never want to fly with him. Because he, he'll, he'll lay in the aisles and shit. He, he's a disrespectful <laughs> bastard. You had that, though, dead to rights. Are there even aisles? I know. Are there aisles dead. in PJs or just an open space? Well, there could be some aisles. Um, yeah, so Rico won the day portion. And then Marty and I went head to head in Vermont, lost to Arkansas, but covered. The Catamounts just didn't hit their free throws in the end. I knew they'd battle. I knew it would be close, but I don't know. I, I, that's the only reason they lost, I feel like. I feel like they were just as good as Arkansas. Listen, give like, Musk credit. Musk has got a 12 now. Who are they there's playing? A, uh, Mexico, Mexico State. State. There's a very real possibility they play Memphis. I don't know about very real. That's a stretch. There's a probable if it's 12, I am hammering, hammering Memphis. Responsibly. Doesn't that tell you, though, doesn't that beg you to take Memphis? Yeah, for right. sure. You just and I'm going to do it, yeah. Right, fair enough. But let yeah. me tell you who I was very impressed with today. Michigan. Michigan opened it up. Colorado State was up, what, 15 in the first half? Yeah, you half? could tell at the half. It yeah. was like, as soon as, as soon as it was six, I was like, this Colorado... And, and you know what? Before the tournament, we all said it, like, the line's pointing to Michigan. I just got spooked out with the... With the um, the point guard. Yeah, no, the point, it's the point guard. Gonna, the Jones. point guard could probably be back yeah. uh, for uh, Saturday, maybe. Um, but that, I think I that's think a... I I'm not, I got to double check. Regardless, that's a good matchup. Tennessee, Michigan, uh, I kind of... Five okay, and a half. Credit to Tennessee. They smoked Longwood. They never didn't have a left yeah. down. Never in the game. But Michigan, Tennessee. You think an upset could happen? I think Michigan could definitely win that game. Did they play earlier this year? Am I? No. I know, all right, Michigan played. Michigan, Michigan played, played uh, right. yeah. Arizona, no. They didn't play Tennessee? Doesn't Michigan's matter. marquee game was uh, Villano, uh, right. Arizona, excuse me. Um, yeah, and then I know you said the Big East stinks. What a comeback from Creighton. They Bro, were done. Thank on God. Jerry. I needed it. I needed it. Jerry needed it. Even though I fucking slammed the slots today like a fucking fiend. It was unbelievable. 15K on the slots, everybody. Insane. Tell the streets. How does that happen? I have horses no. and coins. Horses and coins. Horses oh, and coins. Um, Creighton now without a big against Kansas, who looks unbelievable. What's the fuck was that kid's name? Precious or something? They had some floppy head kid who's seven oh, feet yeah, tall I never yeah. saw before. Yeah. Yeah. They're s on Kansas. They're so deep. It was the kid who had the N1 and Dude. then... First of hit all, the three from the the other kid hit the three from the corner. Who gives like, a fuck? What's, I'll tell you right now, twenty one. It took a while for uh, Gonzaga. To yeah, that's what I'm saying. Gonzaga didn't look good, Z but Clements, Georgia State, six ten, six ten freshman Clements. Again, doesn't matter. One sixteen doesn't matter. Can I tell you what Rico said today? What? It was how about me giving out Texas in the, in the, for the region? Like, they didn't play yet. It's open <laughs> up. It's open <laughs> up. They haven't even played a that game. That was when yet. I thought UCLA was dead. Purdue, I'm not buying. Buy game, but don't worry. Well, how about him giving out Texas? I'll give out Texas to win the whole thing. Uh, how about me doing that? I'll tell you what. Rico would have had a point about Texas potentially at opening up if UCLA blew this one against Akron. That was a, that was another one of those games where I weren't, really wasn't zoned in on, but UCLA Akron won. is nothing to me. That was a joke. They, Akron should have won the game. Uh, UCLA is exactly what I thought. That's a gut feeling. They lose. Is that next round? Who would that next round be? UCLA versus the St. Mary's. St. Mary's look good. I'll take who I, I hate both of those games. I, don't, I won't even watch it. St. Mary's. You hate both of them? I hate both of them. <laughs> so not, you're not leaning one way or the other? What, uh, what's a bet you're looking at for tomorrow? Tomorrow? Ohio State. Minus Ohio State. 
Minus a half. I'm going to check if Sister Jean's eating meat. What about you, Rico? Uh, I mean, I'm definitely looking at Bama. I don't know if I want to put myself in that position again of, like, the emotion. And you have to. And just been wrong so much. You uh, absolutely have to. But uh, Miami, weirdly. And the ACC keeps rolling? Not. I love Auburn. Just a Auburn little bit. Too. A little bit of uh, a little bit of Miami. Because you see, I mean, USC coming cross country. They're more athletic. Laranaga has been pretty good in the tournament. I think it's Miami. But I, I agree with you, too. Uh, Auburn, can, Auburn goes and figures yeah, it out. Yeah, I like Auburn. I think I like Texas against Virginia Tech. I love Texas. Love Texas. Sorry, Texas I love Texas hot. against Virginia Tech. Love Te- obviously an amazing week oh, for them. So that's another one that fits in there, too. Yeah. I probably shouldn't have said Villanova because Villanova's been elite the whole year. It's Virginia Tech. Yes. It's the Iowa mold. Texas can get after them. Yeah. And by the way, I'm just worried who's going to show up because Beard, uh, God right. knows what the fuck's going on there. Our bracket challenge. So we had over 2,000 brackets. Four people are 14 of 16. Shout out David Sullivan, Dylan Mahon, uh, Caleb Clay, and Eric Kimanow. 14 of 16. And obviously one of them was uh, Kentucky. I'm checking right now. I don't think any of them had St. Peter's. Oh, but... Uh, I'm yeah, totally really how's your guys bracket? Mine's done. I can talk. Uh, you know, I'm not right. going to be final four. Right. I don't so, fucking but, know. Um, I think St. Peter's is, is live in that game. Yeah, no, 100%. What's Saint that Peter's line going to be? State. Jesus I don't know. Christ, man. Ken Palm. Guaranteed 7 and 4, 15 in the Sweet 16. Ken Palm has Murray State by 7. Okay. It's going to be ugly. I think it's an under. Yeah, absolutely. Purdue um, covers nobody. 10 and a half. Memphis and Gonzaga. Oh, it's down to ten and a half already. I guess that was the Ken Palm one. <laughs> the They're gonna be running. One fifty-four and a half. Oh, that's a lot of points. Yeah. Let me tell you something. My spine is turning to. Yeah, we're it's, we're on booths. Oh all my god. god, it's very comfortable, but it's a straight up and down. It's like a waiting room. Yeah, oh. somebody said. Uh, and the best part is we'll Dude, be we got back three tomorrow. days left tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. So we'll start at noon and we'll be back on here at uh, midnight. Ish, depending on what happens. Um, but yeah, by the way, Baylor, Kansas, easy. Just figure, want to check the box. Kansas to me games, looks like the best yeah. team in the tournament. But we're ready right tomorrow. Honest. They just are so deep. Again, this another kid, 6'10 kids getting time. Yeah. Like they're so deep. And Remy Martin's like, no ego. Braun does everything. He's a poker face. I, I, I shut up about Kansas. You keep talking about the number one seed that beat a 16th seed. Let's give All it a rest well, for a Gonzaga second. looks like shit against. They still won by 20, 20 points. Like right. I, I know they didn't yeah. look yeah. good, but they still won. By, like 16 right. teams really is so Actually, maybe your thing speaks more to it than I mean, Gonzaga looked like shit and still won by 20. Yeah, I'm a little scared right. about yeah. that. Yeah. What was there the time with like 10 minutes left and they won by 20? Right. I'm more Perfect. scared that they like, didn't look good and people are going to bet Memphis because like, oh, Perfect they're kind of a sexy yes. team. But right. whatever. Um, Yeah, first game tomorrow, Ohio State, Loyola, Chicago. That's Marty's best bet. And 16 games. We'll be back at this location Noon to midnight, March after midnight, coming at midnight. Uh, can't wait. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, YouTube, Barstool Bench Mob, subscribe if you're watching live, which I guess you all are right now. But even if you're not, subscribe to the YouTube. Uh, we're going to keep building that page. A lot of fun things coming over the next couple of weeks. So Duke's going to win it all. Duke's going to win it all. That's your takeaway from I play. really do, man. This tournament's lining up perfectly. Why? <laughs> the bottom half lines. of the region hasn't it's, even played yet. It's lining Don't up. Don't even open that up. That doesn't mean... Quick. I see, I see it. Yeah. I love you. I need to go home. Good night to also, dorm. real quick, Rico Rico tried calling the hotel to see if they would put his AC lower for him. I forgot to lower my AC. he got there. Criminal. Do you believe, can you imagine... Here at 11, we can you imagine the asking the fucking hotel clerk being like, hey, can you go to my room and put her on 62? Bad move. Rookie move. Rookie move. We landed, I dropped my bag and came right here, so rookie All right. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you to High Noon, March After Midnight. Night one, in the book, 16 games tomorrow. We'll oh. see you then.